I want to talk about an amazing interview hack. I call it twisting the question. Now, it's a very simple technique, and it's something you should use once at most, I would say, twice during an interview. Now, I can give you an example. Unfortunately, I've got to give you a verbal example um, because it was an interview in front of a live audience that I did with Martina Gedeck, who, for me, is one of the great actresses um, of our time. She's a German actress. She was in The Lives of the Others, which won Best Foreign Oscar Film at the uh, Oscars. And uh, she's been in many other famous international movies, as well as German movies like the Bader Meinhof Complex. One movie she was in was with Robert De Niro, The Good Shepherd. Now, of course, Robert De Niro is a world star and has been for the past 40 years. So his status, and with respect to Martina, is higher um, than her status. And so in that situation, you would normally ask, what did you learn from Robert De Niro? But twist the question, really simple. Ask, what did Robert De Niro learn from you, Martina? Now, I asked that question. I mean, it threw her completely. It always throws the people that you're asking. They take a little time to think about it. And mostly they come up with something that is very different and very thoughtful and something that really hasn't been talked about before. Now, I tried that with Steve Lipson. Unfortunately, the, the answer isn't as great as it could have been, but I wanted to show you this because what it shows is the surprise. You can tell instantly, it's not a question he's ever been asked before. Now, he's a great producer, but he worked with, when he started out, with Trevor Horn. And of course, Trevor Horn was a god during the 80s. So here you go. This is the example with Steve Lipson. What do you think Trevor Horn gleaned from you over your time working with him? Wow. I haven't... Pass. You'd have to ask him. I have no idea. Probably nothing. But I, I don't know. I don't know. We, we, we sort of ended up co-producing and it worked for a while, but then we trod on each other's toes, really. I think it's fair to say we, we ended up doing, you know, covering the same ground. As I said before, it doesn't completely um, show you what can come of it, but it does show you what a surprise it is to have a question twisted in that way. And it really shows the impact it can have. Normally, they go into depth and you get something differently. Unfortunately, with uh, Stephen, I think I completely threw him. <laughs> so that might be a bit of a problem. But essentially, as I said before, if you allow them time and you allow them to respond, um, then I think you get something much, much deeper and much more interesting. That's my interview hack for today. Twisting the question, use it once. I would say a maximum amount of times twice. And um, you'll really find something new in an interview. Now look out for more interview hacks on Pop the History Makers. <laughs>